So recently I had a question I want to clarify uh, relating to vitamin D and calcium, okay? Um, because one of the side effects of too much vitamin D, it's called hypervitaminosis D, uh, which is vitamin D toxicity, would be high levels of calcium in the blood. And of course, um, that could potentially lead to calcification of your arteries, okay? So I wanted to differentiate that from what really happens. And I'm gonna put a link down below of some really great research in this area. Vitamin D inversely correlates to coronary artery calcification, which means when you increase your vitamin D, you actually decrease the calcification in the coronary artery, okay? Now you would think it would just be the opposite, but that's not the way it works. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, and it's even carried by lipoproteins. Like HDL and LDL are lipoproteins that transports certain fats, cholesterol, triglycerides, and fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin E, and even vitamin D. Since fat and essential fatty acids and fat-soluble vitamins don't mix well with water, they need to be transported with these proteins. Now you would assume that because vitamin D has to do with calcium absorption and increasing calcium in the blood, that that would automatically just deposit and calcify your arteries. But calcium is very, very tightly controlled by a lot of different factors. One is vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 works with vitamin D in that it actually helps remove excess calcium that vitamin D created. So it takes it out of the arteries, takes it out of the joints, and pushes it into the bone. So let's just take, for example, an artery that's filled with calcium. We have to understand in an earlier beginning, okay? And the beginning started with uh, some type of oxidation to the wall of the artery. Then you had inflammation, and that signaled the body's healing capacity to lay down cholesterol and calcium. Well, guess what? Vitamin D is probably there to heal this lesion, not necessarily to lay down and deposit calcium, but it's there as part of the healing process because it's an anti-inflammatory vitamin. In fact, taking vitamin D actually reduces stiffness in the arteries, so it can really, really help someone. The point I'm trying to make is uh, vitamin D is not the problem. You, you need to look at the whole picture, and I always recommend if you're taking vitamin D, also take vitamin K2 at the same time, and uh, you're not gonna have any problems with excess calcium, even if you have large amounts of vitamin D if you have vitamin K2. All right, I'll see you later. So to prevent me from running out of content, I have a new survey. I wanna find out what you are interested in. So please fill it out, the link's down below.